Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're gonna do a quick little recipe. It's gonna be a chocolate chip cookie dough latte. I'm so excited for you guys to try it. I've already tried it a couple times and it's really, really good. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's super simple. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of my recipes are really no fuss, no nothing. I think the hardest one that I've done so far is the Valentine's Day recipe where you had to muddle all the strawberries, but I don't like cooking. So if there is a syrup, that is going to be the essence of the whole recipe i'm going to go that route so today we're going to use the torani chocolate chip cookie dough syrup and it is very 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 good so hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe at the end of the video i promised you guys a nespresso pot haul i did end up going to the boutique that's around my house and i bought a couple of pods for both original and virtual line so i'm gonna show you guys everything that i bought at the end of the video for the recipe, I'm going to use Bianco Leggero, but you guys can substitute any double espresso. You can also use the double espresso Chiaro. That's my kid in the background. And if you don't have double espressos, then you can just use whatever pod you guys have. You can use Peru, just brew it twice, or just make a small latte, like a smaller version. Just do this and then your almond milk. And yeah, I'm going to use almond milk, but you guys can use whatever milk you guys prefer. So Bianco Leggero, almond milk, and the chocolate chip cookie dough syrup. Let's get started. were able to see the end um i put a little bit of the torani pure made dark chocolate sauce just to amp up the chocolate flavor a tiny bit so if you guys have something like this i know like hershey's has syrups like that too so i'm just gonna mix everything in there and give it a taste test mm, that's good I feel like the sauce definitely helps with like that chocolatey, chocolatey goodness. So, so good. I know some people say that Bianco Leggero is kind of weak tasting. So like I said, if you guys want like a, just a stronger taste in coffee, I would just do double espresso Chiaro. It's a lot more intense than Bianco Leggero. So, but it's pretty good. It's so smooth and creamy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe. If you guys try it at home, let me know. I'm gonna link everything down in the description box so you guys can see where I got everything from, but pretty much both sauce and the syrup I got from Tarani's website, they by far have the cheapest prices and they have literally all the flavors. Flavors you can't even imagine would exist, but they, they do. So check that out. And now I'm gonna show you guys real quick everything that I got at the, um, at the Nespresso store. The store was kind of disappointing. It's in downtown Chicago, so I would have figured that it was a lot bigger, but it wasn't. It was like stuck in a little corner inside Bloomingdale's, and I wanted to record so bad, but I would have stuck out like a sore thumb if I did, so I didn't. The first one that I um, got, I actually opened it up because I wanted to see the pod. I don't think I've ever tried this pod. I have tried it in the original line, so I'm assuming it could be the same, but the original line is an espresso shot. This is a coffee pod size, so it's gonna brew almost eight ounces, but it's their vanilla custard pie flavors. I'm really excited about this one, um, just to pair it with like vanilla creamers or just my almond milk and then whatever flavor that I want, because vanilla, I feel like it's not too flavorful. 
So you can really pair it off even with whatever we did today. But yeah, it's not an espresso. It's a coffee pot size. So it's going to be more of like that drip style coffee. But it's in uh, vanilla flavor. So that's exciting. Speaking of double espresso Chiaro, this is actually sold out on the Nespresso website, which sucks. But they had it at the store. And I'm glad that I at least picked up one. I have a few left in my... Um, in my collect collection <laughs> i don't know if you would say collection but i have a few stocked up so i just bought one just to make sure that i don't run out i'm sure by the time i run out they'll have more and then they were actually stocked up on their original line freddo intenso so this is an espresso shot for the original line so they're iced kind of like their ice leggero but for original line so if you guys have the um mini essenza or you know like anything from the original line they do have these and I think they actually do have them online as well. So check them out if you guys do have the original line. I think you guys can score um, your iced coffee pads. For the Virtual line, I think they're going to bring them back pretty soon. I forgot when they said they would. A subscriber of mine actually mentioned it a while back, but I'm not sure what. I'm almost positive she said like at the end of March, but I'm not completely sure. So hopefully they bring it back. I know they have them in a few stores, but online they're completely sold out. All right, and then last but not least, this is the other one that I got for the virtual for the original line. They do not have this one for the virtual line, and that's what's nice. I know a couple of you guys have asked, you know, is it worth to have both machines? If you like espressos, lattes, stuff like that, the original line has by far the widest range of espresso shots. They don't have double espresso pods, so you will have to use two pods for two espresso shots. But they do have a lot of variety. And this one is called the Special Reserve Jamaica Blue Mountain. And the way the lady explained this, she just made me like want to try it. I She said two notes. And I remember cinnamon. I don't remember the other thing that she said. But when she said cinnamony, it like caught my attention. And I said, okay, just give it to me. <laughs> Actually, let me see what the what the pad looks like and that's beautiful that that is beautiful if you guys are interested those of you guys that have the original line in me taste testing this in a future video give this video a thumbs up or comment down in the comment section because this one is really really exciting to me so and then like always i forgot they do this i know they do it online but i didn't know that they also do it in stores they gave me two samples this one is the shanghai lungo and the buenos aires lungo for the original line these pads are beautiful by the way and then i have never heard of these i don't know if they're new or they just never caught my attention but these the box says bright and light so I'm assuming they're both coffee pot sizes, but I'm assuming that they're both like on the lighter side. So it's Giorno and Solelo. Giorno says toasted zero notes, white floral notes and acidity harmoniously combined in this morning blend. So it's like a breakfast blend. That's nice. And then the other one is a red fruit aroma. It gives rice to its balance light roast. Milk reveals a creamy caramel indulgence. How come I've never tried these? Like that is pretty much all I like. I like like the mild medium roast coffee and it seems like these are gonna be my new things. So I'm gonna try these and let you guys know how I feel about them. But yeah, that is the quick little haul of everything that I got at the Nespresso Boutique store. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know. Tag me on Instagram if you guys do this recipe. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put my handle on the side so you guys can follow me. I post a lot of reels and stories on just like quick little recipes and just me drinking coffee and also my son, but a lot of coffee. So make sure to follow me on there. And if you guys have any video requests, let me know. I'm going to have more recipes coming soon. Pistachio latte is coming soon. I know that the pistachio sauce from Starbucks is like very, very popular and nobody can find it online. I'm going to make my own for that one. So I am going to go out of my way to cook for, for that uh, coffee recipe. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.